Start us off, homie. Hey, ladies and gentlemen. Oh my God. Ladies and gentlemen, two beers, two mics, back in the building. We're back, baby. Holla at your boys. We got Nate over here. That's me. Miller. 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 What's up, homies? Our content manager. What's up, homie? All right. Cheers. Yeah, boom. Yep. Same time uh, yeah, around. whatever. Mm-hmm. Okay, they missed the whole Kate Middleton thing. Yeah, the whole Kate Middleton thing. So I'm sorry to okay. hear about it. Quickly, let's just say it one more time. We just have a practice run, guys, because we don't we have no one doing. I apolog- I'm still knocking the dust off of all this stuff since it's been a while since we've done this. Yeah, I mean, K Middleton. Yes, AI video is probably a hoax. They probably just touched it up. She's right. not doing well because she has cancer. That's all it is, and everyone's but, freaking out on the internet. Well, the the problem is they should not have even done the video aspect of it. It should right. release a statement or have her husband come out and say, you know what. Our family's going through some shit right now. My wife, she has cancer. Please bear with us. Give us, give us our time and our peace with I our would, family. I would just, yeah, same thing. But if you just make a statement, then you're done. You don't have to put her out there. I don't think she had to do that. No, I don't think so either. The internet goes so wild, though. Like it's like any, any little. Oh, they are dissecting everything. Dude, you go on Twitter, which I love Twitter now because before it was all censored. Like you couldn't say anything, or you're like, yeah. you know, you're blocked or whatever. When you look at it now, it, it is kind of the Wild West, which it should be a little bit, right? right. Free speech, right? That's what we're looking for, right. right? Now, there's some things you can't do on Correct. there. Some stuff I'm like, you guys should, probably shouldn't have this on here. <laughs> but right. they just, it's Wild West, like I said. But the Kate Middleton thing is one, the girl's sick. Let, let her be. It, let her be. Let her get healthy. I think they're, you know, the whole thing with the, the flowers don't move in the background. Like maybe they touched it up. Everyone uses Photoshop anyway. Everybody has a green screen behind them anyway. I got news for all of you. Your favorite Instagram model ain't your favorite Instagram model. I'll tell you that right now. I mean, everybody has a green screen behind them. You know, so, something. Or right. some kind of AI touch. Every yeah. All of our phones and all this stuff has this thing. Speaking of that, I better probably look at our stuff. Make sure we record it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh, we suck at this. Yeah. It's okay. Anyway. Yeah, I mean, it's... But I mean, play, prayers go out to her. Hope, hope she's hopefully she's the Dutch. I say Duchess because wasn't she Duchess of something first before she's Princess something? I don't know how that works. Yeah, what one to ten? Would you rate her? What would you rate her as far as looks? Yeah, well, everything overall. I don't know much about her. I don't either. So I couldn't rate her. She is a beautiful woman. Oh, she's very pretty. Yeah, I mean, pretty. That's it. Just pretty. Well, I mean, there's okay. A, so you're saying, well, for me, Meg- there, okay, Megan for, Markle's hotter. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hot me, take. For me, it's not even a hot for take. For me, there's, there's just there's different levels of prettiness. You know, there's like Megan go- Markle's like, a, like, and like, top top is gorgeous. Like that's the like who's okay. Since we're into this now, who's who's like, give me like who's gorgeous. Now, it's funny because a lot of it now is not natural anymore. Well, we know, you know. But a lot of a lot of people grace with age. Age gracefully. Yes. That's what I said, right? <laughs> you kind of said it. <laughs> what did I say? You said grace with age. Oh, yeah, I did. <laughs> My bad. Hey, I have, it's the beers. I haven't had any beers. You didn't drink in, in Yamaica? I didn't, say, I didn't say I didn't drink. I just said I didn't oh. have beers. Did you have El Presidente? I had a couple of those. Hell yeah. I don't like them. Why? Too light. Too light? It's day drinking beer. Yeah, no, I'll just give me you know, give my anyway. Um, give me give me somebody who's gorgeous. I'll give you one, and then you can you give me one. Jennifer too. Lopez, gorgeous. Yeah, she's being called out right now. For what? This is how we're starting the show, guys. Social media gossip. <laughs> oh, for what? Oh, there's people that went to school with her, and she was like on this video saying that she was. Oh, I used to do this running around in New York, and then this girl gets on. And she goes, "I went to elementary school, middle school, and high school with you. None of that shit's true." <laughs> She's like, stop using us well, that's because what I'm saying, though. I she think- goes, you, I don't know, she calls her out and I, it's on TikTok, it's on Instagram. I've seen it in numerous places. Right. It makes me laugh. I'm like, she goes, you're not one of us. You're not Jenny from the block. Okay. Right, right. She right. goes, you were a star in high school and you got on the living color, living all color. that. So fly girls, all dancing, that. Yeah. She's like, you've been amazing forever. Just to say that. You don't have to say that you were poor and you didn't have anything. Right, right. Chill. Who's the girl? Um, Margot. Uh, Margot Robbie. Yeah. Gorgeous. Wolf of Wall Street. I think she's sexy. I think she's sexy, and that's a different level. Ooh, I like this though. Different yeah. levels of like, can you say hotness or just like Hot. different? Just let's we'll call it different levels. Yeah. Like I think gorgeous Adriana Lima, but she was also Victoria's Secret model, so like yeah, super hot, right? So, like right. sultry, sexy, that right. kind of stuff. You, have, you, haven't, you haven't watched Suits, but if you, if you do watch Suits, there's an actress named Donna on there. She's a redhead. Oh yeah, sexy. 
White girl? Yeah. We know you like them white girls. Well, I have, <laughs> I have, I have one. <laughs> and that's out of boy. Yeah. Um, is she here? No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> yeah, yeah, she did. No. Um, yeah. Meghan Markle's hot. Yeah. I've seen her. She's infatuated with being famous. I think that's why she snuck her way into this. No, they've been dating for a while. I know. Secretly. She snuck her way into this, yeah. though. She's infatuated with she's being... She's already famous from the show. They're t- she's too woke of a person for anything. So They had a podcast. Spotify dropped them once they started... Like, you can't bash... Hey, you What's can't your bite definition the- of woke? How about just we'll say way too liberal? Okay. Hey, not everything has to be inclusive. There are things that are not for people. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, sure. That's a terrible definition. Yeah. Because that's the only part of it. But like when you, you know what I'm saying? Like when you're like. You know who used to be fucking gorgeous back in the day? It was ha- Haley Berry. Halle Berry. That's what I said. You said Haley. No. Well, you know what? How do you forget that? No, because Haley, Haley is the younger one uh, with the twin sister, Chloe. Um, they had a. They, uh, what are you talking about? They, she's a singer now. She's a singer and actor. She, um, they she, all are. She's the one that played uh, Little Mermaid. The live Zendaya? Version. No, that's not Zendaya. No. no. She, oh, she's, she's pretty. She's pretty she's too. She's beautiful. Um, who? Oh, but she has, but she has no I like. Chest. Hey, I like light skinned girls for real. Tyra Banks was on my wall. Oh my gosh, Tyra Banks I, is she kind of light skinned, right? She's mixed, but you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Does there's Mariah Carey count? You see her as a white girl though, right? Yeah, I but do see her as a white girl. But her dad's black, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Where's yeah. her mom black? One no, of her them. dad. One of them. One of them. But you don't. You look at her and you go, white girl. You, right. You, you did until you realized what she what she. No, so, she has some soul in her, dude. Her 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 hey, body her her curves hey, are not white. Hey. The honey video. <laughs> her, Hello. Her, her curves are not white. Remember that? So, yeah, oh, the yeah. honey video? The one with Mace? Yeah. Yeah. Whoa. Yep. I'm sorry. I, I'm having flashbacks. <laughs> All right. Let's, let's, get, let's get to a, <laughs> What just happened? Well, let's just talk about social media real hey, quick. You, I'm going to put the camera on you if yours is still going. Let me look at them. Okay. Um, since we're talking about social media real quick, um, what social media follow, follows or your favorites right now? I mean, I don't, I don't since know if I have one. About, since that's all we're talking about, right? I don't know if I have one right now. I just follow, I follow a lot of different things. Just, but I don't have a favorite. I just don't like. I have to go to this guy. No, I don't do that. I just follow them all. But I know. don't think it's have to go for this guy. So one right now, I'm into cleaning. I don't even know why. Cleaning is like it's satisfying. You ever seen that? I watched a woman clean an oven yesterday, and I was like, I need to do that. I'm getting old. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I watched her you, how, step by step how she go, does this, and I go, oh, I could do that. I don't even know why. There's a woman on, uh, I don't know her name. I'll put it up here. I'll find it, I promise. Right there. Um, she goes and cleans for free, but she makes so much money on YouTube and the views and everything and the ads that she just goes and cleans like the worst. Hey, you remember that show Hoarders? She goes and cleans houses like that. Just her. Hey, roaches all over the walls, rats. She's cleaning it. Doesn't matter. Wow. That's incredible. So what are your two that you're following right now? I follow a lot of them. I don't know everybody's stuff. You said at Pat's Queen? Oh, at Pasta. Shout out at Pasta Queen. She's a sultry, sexy, makes cooking hot. Okay. And not like a weird way. No. Where she just got her out. It's just like... How she's making it. Oh. You know, a couple weeks ago, we were talking about uh, the Olivia, whatever her name is. Yeah, yeah, One's yeah, got yeah. like 10 billion followers all of a sudden. Yeah. She's like that little punk rock princess, you know, like, mm, I'm making it like this kind of shit, you know? She did a collab with the Pasta Queen, and then I was like, who's this? Mm. And she makes some shit that you're like, this lemon carpaccio chicken di- you know, dish with like these crazy noodles i've never even heard of I don't know what, they're just noodles but you know what i mean then there's another one uh are you hungry or are you yeah are you hungry maybe his name's ari i don't know he yells at you and he's like you've been he goes i'll blank this out he's like you've been fucking up making your food follow me like oh he, yes i've seen him you've seen him, I've seen him. and he's like <laughs> like yeah. hey if you like Look, your it, steak medium <laughs> if you like your steak medium you're fucking up <laughs> i'll blank all that yeah. out it's a hey, it is. He made a lasagna yesterday that I saw on his social. I was like, "Yo!" I told my wife, "I go, hey, look, 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 look." You know, I'm always in her face. Look at this. This is so awesome. I'm gonna make this lasagna. He takes makes makes the homemade noodles out of sheets and stuff with perfect sheets on there. You know, like he grabs like all the stuff like you buy at the store that come already pre made. He like breaks it up. He goes, "Throw that shit away. It's garbage." It's pretty awesome. You're not enthused at all, and I don't like it. <laughs> Well, I'm talking about food and you and awesome social media 
like they're gonna be like I'm sure that's how they make their money now, but it's it's fun. It's an awesome thing to watch. No, I like watching different things. But speaking of different things, your algorithm is way different than mine, dude. I because I know you use TikTok a lot, yeah. our TikTok channel. Holy moly, bro. We're totally opposite. <laughs> you need to mix yours up a little bit. Yours is a little one-sided. <laughs> well, no, I, I don't tell you anything. I just flip through it. We won't get into it on here, but I'm like, hey, man, you got to have like a... Look, hey, we're centrists, right? We le- we lean left or right no matter what. The, it depends on the issue. <laughs> Some of your stuff, I'm going, this is only one side. We can't look at it this way. <laughs> oh. I know you see it. Then the, And it's funny how fast TikTok changes. Oh my gosh! Yeah. Because if you find one, hey, are you looking at engagement rings? <laughs> no, there's I'm, I'm so like, many jewelry things like, on your algorithm. What the hell? I'm just calling you out because I was sitting there going, "How come every other thing is an ad for jewelry?" Were you looking at jewelry at one point? I was at one point, but it's like a long time. Yeah, like a long time ago. But I'm saying, like, it's like and every it, other and four, stay, and it stays there. But not, but not everything does because sometimes you'll find LeBron hate or you'll find Jordan hate. But I don't even. I, I just scroll. No, no, I'm saying. But I get, well, if you like it or if you stay, it, the, here's the problem. If you watch it, 15 seconds in, oh, it's that you like it. That's what they counted on. I don't know if it's 15 seconds. But exactly. I don't click on the heart though. No, I do. Yeah, I don't click on the heart. Yeah, they're they're <laughs> our algorithms are different. I'm not saying in like a pol- a political like outlook, but what I'm saying is like I'm looking at complete death and utter destruction or cooking and cleaning. <laughs> And then I'm looking at you're animals. Looking at, you're looking at <laughs> animals that, and that are passing, and their mom and dads are sending them to heaven with nice tributes. <laughs> and, you're, and, and New York, New York basketball, <laughs> or or something in the AFC North. <laughs> and mine is totally opposite. <laughs> and sprinkle some titties in there. Yeah, so it, it is what it is. It is. Speaking, of, speaking of AFC North, um, yes, the NFL. Segways. The NFL. It's a uh, cold. Business, you said it, sir. Well, hey, you don't even have to say it's cold business. It's business. Well, it's, it's business. But hey, it, but I'm it, doing the same thing in my work right now. It is what it is. But the thing that a lot of us fans have to realize, like that that loyalty that we used to, there is none. We used to pride ourselves on. Yeah, it's not really there right. anymore, right? Right. Organizations lie to players. Players lie to organizations. You can't. Oh my god. You can't fault a player, especially in the NFL. For trying to maximize the opportunity and get as much funds as he possibly can. That's the point. To set his family is for the future down the road, right? It's a goal number. Because at any point in time, organization could be done with you. How long is the uh I'm already holding average? I'll say like how long two and, is and a half career? years, two and a half, it's, three years. It's almost you can round it to three, three right? Yeah. Hey, that's a decent career. Yeah. Right. Chris Carson could have been a killer. Boom. Um Shut so Chris NFL free agency started about two weeks ago. Yes, it did. And it what, was kind of wild for a couple of days. And what players like to do is they have that tampering window where they can go talk to other teams to figure out what they can get on the market. I love market. that they call it tampering. Right. And they and they celebrate it. Right. <laughs> where they, where they, where they are allowed to go see what kind of money they can get. Yeah. Okay. And we know as a running back market, it's been dwindled. Yeah. And it's not as – you don't make as much. Right? No. So, so players want to try to maximize as much dollars that they can get early in the process. Supposed to. That's so, the name of the game. But the Bengals and the Packers, I'm calling you two out. And their running backs. And their running backs, Mixon and Jones. Okay, Excellent running backs. Would you say they're would, top 10? I don't know about excellent, but they're, they're Top good. 10? One of them is. Um, Aaron Jones isn't? You no, know, he is. You don't think Joe Mixon's the top 10? No. All right. Here we go. Keep going. Um... <laughs> As you were, now you're thinking about it. Like, oh shit! I <laughs> know. <laughs> <laughs> He's eleven. Um, ah, no. All right. Uh, so, what the what the Bengals and the Packers did is a, is 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 fucked up. Basically, I agree. They held Mixon and Jones hostage, right? While they secretly went out and I don't think it was a secret. I think they knew what they're doing. But they didn't let the players allow them to go do what they have to do. Let me finish the story. So they secretly. Went out basically and looked for their replacements, of course, without allowing them, Mixon and Jones, to go out and seek a trade or seek talk to other teams for get more right. money. So at the last minute, once they the Bengals and the Packers found a replacement, they cut the guys loose. Right. But the problem was the tampering period, the free agency has already been gone. The money has already been dried up. So they they the Mixon and Jones were not able to get the maximum dollars that they could get. And that's, and that's fucked up, I think. No, I think it's I you're not wrong. 
Who did um, – so the, the Packers got Josh Jacobs. Yes. Then they let – but wasn't it kind of like at the same time? Like, yeah. hey, we got Josh. You need to go. go. And like – because NFL.com, the social media does this thing where like, ooh, you know, like we get from our guys we follow, and, Adam and, 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 and Shefty for, and all And good for guys. Aaron Jones Adam. to go in, in the division and go to the Minnesota Vikings. Say, fuck you, Packers. I'm going to come back and whoop your ass. I get that. Yeah. Those, Mixon got traded at the last minute. Those poor Vikings. Mixon got traded at the last minute to Houston. <sighs> hey. That's a good pickup from Houston, though. These Texans, if they build exactly they're on coming. what they just did, they're coming. They're coming. CJ Stroud. They're already here. Put it that yeah, way. you're right. You know, no, they're already they're, here. I like that. They're already here. But they're, 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 they're trying to make it. Shout make out strides. Dan, too. They're trying to make strides right now. I think D'Amico so. Ryans knows exactly what to do. Oh, for sure. Okay, speak real quick. Side note, just before we get crazy, your committee, which is awful, the hip drop, hip drop cap, cap, I can't even talk, the hip drop tackle. Okay. It's an automatic first down and a 15-yard penalty. Bro, what are we doing? It's just like a horse collar tackle. Hold on. Hold on. You got a five foot ten cornerback trying to take down DK Metcalf who's six three. Okay. How are you how are you supposed to tackle that dude? Learn. Learn how to tackle. Put your Tell head, me. No, put no, no. your head in front no, of the no. football, you, wrap up, and bring him down. Don't, but there's different angles in football. You can't you they figured out how to not horse collar call anybody anymore. So they figure out how to how to tackle. I think that's different, and no, I think you know that. No, just tackle. Learn how to tackle. People don't know how to tackle anymore. They, they always go for the shoulder bump. Now I'm trying to get back to the old school game and tackle. Yeah, Play but hip drop defense. tackle was part of the no, old school game. No. What do you mean no? No. A guy that's, hey, how are you going to tell me? First of all, congratulations on Derrick Henry. If you have five guys trying to pull him down, all they're doing is pulling their body weight and pulling him down, using their hips, pulling down. But they are dragging their feet on the ground. Though. Nonetheless, what I'm saying the problem is, is when, you, when you're bringing your whole body up and you're bringing them down backwards, it's just like... It's just like you know what it should be illegal for? It's just like a, a horse collar tackle. Hold on. You know what it should be illegal for? Just the big guys. You can't just justify that. Yeah. No. Because it happens in the middle. You it happens on the line. But you can't justify that. But you know what I'm saying though, right? No. Yes, you do. Well, I do, but I don't yeah, want you. Know, to. Come on. For the sake of argument, just take your side and I'm taking mine. I am. That's what we do. It's two yeah. beers, two mics, everybody. I'm saying that I get the big guys taking each other down like that. And I know it's going to be selective, but dude, 15 yards. Here's the problem. Okay. Here's my problem with it. It's not even the hip drop tackle. It's the penalty. Horse call the same thing. But 15 yards on an auto? A personal foul. Here we go thing. again. We're gonna have, it's going to be the average personal, football game is going to be ended up being 45 to 55. A personal foul. That's what it's going to happen. A personal foul happening. or... Roughing the passer is the same damn thing. You can't tackle nobody now. Now you're going to take another tackle away from them? But you got you know, you have to learn how to tackle now. I don't think, well, that's debatable too because I think everyone, it's, half, it's 50-50. No. Learn how to tackle. Yes, you do. You say that all the time. Nobody wraps up. Oh, no, they, they don't. No, nobody no, wraps right. up. Yeah, we talk about it but all now, the time. But, but now you have to. Now you go back to the old school and learn how to tackle. What I'm, what I'm saying is, is the penalties are too harsh. I don't think so. I think all of them. Hey, I don't well, think, I think holding penalties too harsh too. I think that's I think that's too harsh. I don't want the game to slow down. Get me wrong; it's already slow enough. But right. we need this has this, and we're not sure if this is even going to pass. It hasn't gone yet. And this week is the ownership. And I don't. I don't think. I don't think a, a freaking five yard illegal contact should be automatic first down. No, I don't. That's what I'm saying. Five yards. Five yards. Five yards. Five. Yards. Most penalties should be five. Right. No, First I agree caller with you. and like you're like if you're gonna when it if you're trying to prevent injury. Okay, an automatic first down, all that kind of stuff. That stuff, that I get. The only thing I would say is maybe not 15, but, how, but, but, but give them 10 yards. Okay, but a holding penalty, you could call it on any oh, play you sure. want. For so sure. why why is it holding, going back 10 yards? Could the referees, could the NFL's any the referees there call that right now? We want that team to win. I know that. So that's what happens. I hate the definition of their new def- So once they did their, uh, what did the NFL do like 10 years ago? They changed themselves from a... Non-profit to a profit deal, something like, something like that. and so now they can technically be like WWE. Yeah. And you're like, I know there's sports betting, and no, hey, just so you guys know, nothing's real and all this is fake, and we all die. That's how it goes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, um, NFL news. Okay, so give me your favorite uh, free agency swap this year. Jacobs to the Packers is pretty good. I don't think so. <laughs> no. No. I don't think he's why because Bakhtiari he, fucking got ki- shit canned and no, they let him I don't go. Think he's any Another better. line's I don't gonna think be he's terrible. Any better than Aaron, what they already had? I think Aaron Jones is way better in that offense and what they did. You see that you saw the, you he saw catches the, the balls out of the backfield. But, but this way, you saw the the Forty Nine er game in playoffs. Oh, I know. Jacob doesn't do what Aaron Jones does. You're gonna need the one two punch. Who's the other guy for the Packers though? They got rid of him. AJ Dillon's gone. OJ. Yeah. Oof. 
I still, I, I don't, I, think, I don't think Jacobs does what Aaron Jones does for that offense, and, that, and that's my problem. I, I would say Jones sign. is more versatile, but Jones is twenty nine, right? So I think Something they're thinking like you got Jacobs two years. Twenty eight. Well, okay, when? No, I see. I don't know. Packers are Packers are kind of in that. Hey, we have our window. I didn't like it's, that one. The window's starting to open. Am um, I wrong? Remember, the NFC is weak, dude. I know. Um, right now, sorry, anybody else? Okay, talk about. Hey, come on, man. Talk about my favorite corny dude ever, but I love him so much. The corniest mu- in the NFL right now. Who is that dude? I have no idea. There's Come on, man. Don't corny. make me play this game. There's a lot of corny dudes. Too. On what no. Te- on what team? He's the corniest. On what team? He was. Is He's going to be a Hall of Famer. <laughs> That's all I had to say. <laughs> he's going to be a Hall of Famer. Quarterback? His last, Yeah, his last job didn't work out. <laughs> Quarterback. Come on, bro. I can't believe this is taking you this Kirk long. Cousins? Seriously? Really? Mm, I don't know. Um, I said corny. Well, that, that's corny. No, nah, he was being a, the black community was accepting him. <laughs> 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 they were jumping him in. <laughs> um, Come on, man. This I ain't that hard. I don't know. Yeah, it is. His new boss is named Mike. <laughs> Dude, <laughs> his wife is a pop star. That should be it right there. I, I can't I, believe I have drawn a blank. Oh, I'm going to keep doing this. this is I have drawn a blank. He is father to another rap star's son. He's father to another rap star's son. Whose wife is a pop star. Oh, Russell. Jesus Christ, Jesus. James Miller. Did everyone get that? I'm sure everyone's oh. screaming right now at you like, it's Russell Wilson. I think that's a horrible, horrible pickup. I think that he, you know, after that interview with, um, his, with, with B. Marshall, yeah. I think they were like, Send him out. Go. Well, here's my thing. He tried to stay as a Denver Broncos. Here's, here's, here's my thing. You must not believe in him if you go go out there and get Justin Fields. I. So here's lots of thoughts come to my mind because you're not wrong. Is it? Is it weird? Is it? To me, you're kind of wrong, but you're not wrong. Does, <laughs> does it seem like the Pittsburgh Steelers are trying to model themselves at the Baltimore? You should. That's a good model. I'm just saying, though, but it doesn't seem that way, right? I'm giving you their flowers, I and I'm not even talking about Zay. What up? I'm just asking. I mean, like, you know, Patrick Queen, another player, oh, uh, another safety. Yeah. And hey, then you got feels. Does that hurt a little bit? That's that hurts. tough. That hurts. Hey, what's worse, Jones going to the Vikings or Patrick Queen going to the Steelers? Well, for me, it's, it's, it's the Queen. Yeah. <laughs> hey, that's a, would you say top 10 linebacker, or would you say? Oh, he has to be. He's all pro. Would you say top five? He's all pro, so yeah. Top five, not number five. Correct. Top three, not number three? Probably. Well, based mm. off of the all pro stat aspect of it, mm. yes, because he's second team all pro. So there's two linebackers in the all pro, and he's, just, he's, he's the first team all pro. That one sucked. So I felt really bad. I was like, oh. I was like, uh, you any, know, you saw any that. Any team, any team but them. Right? No, not any team, because if you went to Cleveland, you'd be like, oh, God damn it. Any team any, but the North. <laughs> yeah. Because <laughs> if he went to the Bengals, you'd be real. I, would it be worse if he went to the Bengals? No, Pittsburgh. Pittsburgh's our Haiti rivalry. I, I feel free on that one. I was like, mother. But nonetheless, like, so Russell's over there now. And, and, and he got less money. That's what I'm saying. What happened there? I don't understand. Am, am I making that up? Like, no. he got less money. I thought Seattle gave him an offer. They, apparently, they Apparent, didn't. They didn't give him a $13.5 million offer. We could have gave Bobby his money. We didn't do that either, which makes no sense. Did that hurt you go to Washington? No. No, it didn't. Because Sean Alexander did that too. Because he, he was out of the league. Because he already left. That's, but that sucks though for Bobby. We could have gave Bobby the money, but I think they want to, hey, you got to go younger right now. It's just what it is. Yeah. And Bobby's the man. Like first ballot Hall of Famer. He's like, what, a 10-time All-Pro? He's a bad dude, right? Most decorated uh, linebacker in the league right now. Don't argue with me. Pro. It's totally true. He's not 10-time All-Pro. I think he is. No, not All-Pro. No. You don't think so? No. This is year 12. Not all pro. Year 13. Year 12. Not all pro. Pro Bowl, but not all pro. How many times? I'm going to find this out. I say he's probably a four time all pro. Four? Yeah. You better check yourself before you wreck yourself. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying. I, a disrespect. I, not a disrespect. Four time all pro is an excellent career. No, you're not wrong. I Pretty much I'm not. Let's see. Hey. I mean, how many times? All pro, not Pro Bowl, all pro. A 10 time all pro selection, including six first team selections. I stand on business when I talk about Bobby. So, six time all pro. 10. Well, I don't count the second team. Bullshit. Because if Lamar was on the second team, which he has been, you still count it. It fits my argument. (laughs) (laughs) 
Come on, man. I got, got one right. You got, you got it right. <laughs> Ten time All Pro, three time NFL tackles leader. Because the front line can't stop nobody. Right, right. <laughs> but no MVPs. It's one of it is, man. No defensive player of the year either. That's what I meant. Oh, I like that though. I like that you said it like that because it should be an MVP. Oh yeah. Defensive player of the year should just call go defensive. Ray MVP. Lewis has one. What? Ray Lewis has one. I know, right? Not crazy. So does he have two? So does Terrell Suggs. T Sizzle. T Sizzle lives here. He plays in that AZ yeah, hoops yeah. desert whatever. <laughs> uh, since we're on the NFL chick topic, that's what I saw in your whole content listing. I was like, is there anything else you want to talk about? Like well, March Madness is going on. Well, NBA yeah. playoffs are about to happen. I, I, mean, I said March Madness. Um, you, you remember the Jordan rules, right? I read the book. Okay. Did so, you? Yeah. Probably not. So the Raiders are now going to try know. to do the Mahomes rules. Will the NFL allow that to happen? Mm, probably. Or, or are they going to like? It's, make, it's or, what or, sells, or, or, dude. Or, or are they going to over penalize them to stop them from doing that? You know what I'm saying? So like, if they chip Mahomes, it's going to be a reference to pass. If they, 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 they are they going to purposely watch them and any little ticky tack thing that happens on Mahomes because of the comments being made? They are the NFL telling the referees over emphasize. You can't do that. It's hard to say because. Nowadays, it seems like nobody can do anything to anybody. Well, I was a little hot when I texted you that. Like, why don't we just put flags on everybody? For real. What are we doing? I know. And then you're watching rugby players speak the shit out of each other in other countries. Like, oh my God. Like, Lacrosse in high school, love they it. hit harder. Love it. Love it. I love the NFL. Don't get me wrong. But, dude, we're getting into a weird spot, right? We are. We are. Do you think they revert back? No. Can you look they, into the future they, and go, mm, what were we thinking? Well, well, because the NBA is reverting back now. I would say this: the NBA is going back, going towards like we can't flop no more. We're going back. We're going to NBA in a minute. In a minute, I would say this: I I yes. think they will allow the defenses to be a defense. Yeah, but still keep the offense the way it is. Yeah. So going back to Fan- where, you gotta remember fantasy. Fantasy. So, so, is the going, so going back to where it was probably not like the, with the physicality of the game, sure. but they're gonna allow defenses to do a little bit more and get away with a little bit like more tugs and more hold. I mean, right, right. And not call as much. Understood. And be more physical. They what they were. Well, because, I mean, that's because what... because there's no way there's no way that they would allow put them down, oh, man. put hand. them down, man. <laughs> there's no way they would allow Baltimore last year to be that physical, except for the one game, right. Except the one the, game against the Chiefs. Except for the one game. They counted. They, the only one that counts. The only one that counted, they penalized them. Only in a, yeah. Silly, right? Right. Are you going to get over that loss? No. <laughs> I wouldn't either. No. You think, hey, you think Saints fans are over that Rams loss? No. <laughs> no I don't think so either. And and that's more egregious than, than, than the Ravens one. I know. Like that, how you I not? don't know what's more egregious, that call or them not running the ball ever. Like that still is like, hey. I know. That's still up there. Like I know. I if I ever get the chance to see McDonald, I'm going to be like, hey, man, what happened? <laughs> I know well, you were on the other side yeah, calling the defense, the but I want to know. I, I can't hear. They were told, don't play your game. Ugh. That sucked to hear. Well, I mean, but seriously, though. I know we're talking about that. Let's like, but. It, <sighs> All right. So NBA, NBA playoffs coming up pretty soon. You excited? No, I'm not, a, not yet. No, not yet. No. I'm 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 a because homer when it comes to stuff. I watch all the first round. Because everything. the Stantons is so close and tight. I just want to know where we fit in. Like, what seed? You'll be the fifth seed. We'll be the fourth or fifth seed. You got, yeah, well, you guys... Right, right, right. right. Now you we're the third. Be, you have... Knicks have to be all healthy, though. Right now, we're the third. Oh, you guys are third? I thought you were fifth. Or fourth, right? Well, we, we, we won like... You won last night, right? No, we lost to Denver. That was two nights ago, though. You guys won last night because your win streak was one. Who we played last night? Was it last night? Yeah. You guys won last night. You going to be in Minnesota? I'm just making I, things up. I was on, I was on a plane. <laughs> I was on a plane if it did. Oh. Yeah, we could look it up though. We could look it up. Yeah, look at the standings. <laughs> but it's it's like we, let's we do know this. we know who the good teams are. You know, in the, like the Denver Celtics, Celtics, eight game win streak right now or nine game win streak. Well, they lost to Denver, dude. They lost to Denver, but they beat the Bulls last night. Oh really? You gonna count that one as a? As a hey, they have a nine game win streak, dude. No, they don't. You Ladies and gentlemen, they, they haven't played nine games since they've seen the loss of Denver. The Boston Celtics pushed their NBA winning streak to nine games with a 124-113 victory over the Chicago Bulls on Saturday as the Houston Rockets won their eighth straight as well over Utah. Bro, uh, well, bro, I've been on vacation. If you're going to be two beers to Mike's, you got to be two beers to Mike's, bro. I've been on bro. vacation. Hey, I say some wild shit on the pod, but yeah, you better you come with the facts. My bad, dude. 
You said they lost Denver. Like then you said New York lost Denver. Who? Everyone loses to Denver. <laughs> Everybody. But you're like two weeks behind. I know. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, so the Celtics are killing it. And the reason why I brought up win streaks is because Houston is sneaky, sneaky right what, now. What, what seat are they in right now? They're eleven, but they're right behind the Warriors, one game back of the Warriors and Lakers. And yeah, well, Lakers have a one game lead over the Warriors. Mm. You know, because like yeah, 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 yeah. That plan is kind of cool. But I, do you want to watch Lakers Warriors, or would you rather? Because I don't want to watch Lakers Houston. No, because it's nine. And the Warriors don't make the playoffs. It's is nine, that weird? It's nine ten, and it's seven eight. And so then, much going on. And then the loser of seven eight plays the winner of nine ten. Yeah. So let's do NBA standings right now. Let's look them all up. We'll put them up here for everybody too. So in the East right now, Celtics fifty seven and fourteen. Oi. Then it goes Bucks, Cavs, Knicks are the fourth seed. Magic, Pacers, Heat, Sixers, and then your 9 10 are Bulls, Hawks. Nets ain't catching the Hawks, not with only two weeks left in the season, really. Um, they're five games back, but that's pretty much your. your oh, East. we won Brooklyn. That's who we beat. It was Brooklyn. No, last night you said Knicks. That's who we played, Brooklyn. Yeah, yeah. Not, not Minnesota. Still beating the, still beating the Nets. <laughs> we always we run New York, baby. That's what I'm saying. Okay. So, your thoughts on the East? Um, my thoughts on the East is Boston going to choke in the playoffs. You think they're they're gassing? It? They're gonna? How would you say it? They're winning now, and then they won't win when it counts. Yeah, like the two thousand one Mariners, <laughs> one hundred sixteen wins. Right. I don't. I, just, I don't. <laughs> Lose at the Yankees. I don't see that style of play of shooting threes all the time working as much in the playoffs. That's the game now, though. Yeah, but teams are gonna adjust. If you have a good good defensive team, so you're saying do they do they make the second round? Yes. Because I have no problem with seeing them beat. I mean, right now they'd be playing the Sixers. So, I, yeah, but with Embiid, without Embiid, no, but it, he's coming back. You think so for the yeah, playoffs? Yeah, yeah, it's debatable. Yeah, <laughs> who's the five? The seed? East is so who's, weird. Who's the, I think it's the, I think it's only seed? those top four. Honestly, who's the five seed? Magic. Oh yeah, ahead of the Pacers by two games. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I, I mean, to me in the East, I think it's it's the Bucks and Celtics to, to lose. That's what I think so too. I think it's those Cavs two are going to make some noise. Cavs will win the first round, and they'll lose to the Bucks. Yeah, and then Knicks mm. will lose to the Celtics. It'll be it'll be uh, Cavs Pacers. So they should be able to handle them. Yeah, they should be able to. Handle should them. should. Halliburton's playing pretty good if when he, he's not hurt. Right. <laughs> right. What about your Knicks, dog? They will win the first round. I think. I Man. think. I think they'll be. Orlando. I love watching Jalen Brunson. Oh. Such a stud. He's like I don't know if, if he's the most improved player in the league, but. He better get some MVP. Uh, I think he's votes. always been that guy. He, to me, he needs to get some MVP votes. That's like what I think. I one know. or two. I'm not saying a lot. Let's look at the West. Let's look at the West. Now, the West, the Thunder have a four game win streak. Thunder playing pretty good, too. The number one seed right now. Thunder are. Yeah. Hmm. Well, they have a, technically, they're 49 and 20, and the Nuggets are 50 and 21. So their win percentage just puts game, them number one. one. So it's a, a half a game, really. Um, Nuggets won three in a row. No, no it's not half a game. 49 20 and 51 and 21. Actually, it doesn't even say right here, it shows games behind. Uh, Null, like nothing. Uh, yeah. So basically, they're tied for the number one seed. But if it were to start today, because of the percentage, I think that's what they I think because tiebreakers, of. not because of percentage. Well, I mean, they're just going, I'm going off of what's highlighted in bold. Okay. <laughs> anyway, so Thunder, Thunder oh. Nuggets, who's third seed? T- Timberwolves? Timberwolves, Clippers, yeah. Pelicans, Suns, Kings, Mavericks. Mavericks playing pretty good right now, finally. Um, and then Lakers, Warriors, and Rockets are just right there knocking on the door, dude. Suns are seven seed, so they are playing the... Suns are a six seed. Six seed, so they're playing the they're three... They're playing Wolves. Three play Wolves. Six. I think the Wolves will beat them, for real. I don't know. What? Not if Cat's not back. Well, I, I don't think that matters. It does matter. I don't think the Suns are... What? Hey, no. Hey, Suns, Suns will Bradley Beal might not be on that team next year. Suns will beat or the, or D book and KD will be gone. Suns will beat the Timberwolves without Cat. You think? You think if the Clippers stay healthy, they can get there? Clippers stay healthy. The Clippers are dark horse. I think so too. If James Harden plays defense on the right team, well, no. have you seen these highlights? <laughs> he went and contested Kawhi Leonard's it, shot the other day. It was. It was. It was supposed to be. A, oh, here we go. I want to see this. Yeah, try to defend this. No, no, no. That's what he I said. I saw clear. Evidence of him shoot. He put his that. hand up when he was shooting a three. I know that he said he 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 was just goofing off. That's silly. I know. When the game's on the line, I know you would decide to be goofy. What are we doing, James Harden? I don't know. Well, he's an ASU boys. What do you expect? <laughs> what does that have to do with it? They don't have. You're throwing a shade at ASU right now. Yeah. 
Because the U of A's in it? Of course. AC didn't even make the tourney. No shit. They G- weren't gonna. GC, GC, in the last 15 years, GCU has more tourney wins than ASU. Boom. What's up? What's up, Lopes? Thanks, Dan Marley. What's up, Lopes? <laughs> Dude, knocking off St. Mary's? Woo. We'll get in that in a minute. No, um, <laughs> so I still think the West is going to be Denver and Dark Horse Clippers. Yeah, I, I, I think OKC will get to the second round. I kind of see Nuggets doing the getting right back in there. Right. Well, their window's open. Oh, yeah. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. And that team is just too good. They are. Yeah. Jokic, dude. He's the MVP. Is it Jokic or Jokic? Jokic. Joker. Joker, right? Joker. Did you see Rody Gobert trying to talk shit to him the other night? Yeah, shut up. He goes, I got, I'm going to guard Jokic. He goes, I have 47, brother. <laughs> but he, but, he, but he, might, he might be the, the fourth time defense player of the year. Rudy Gobert. Mm, why? Because of block shots. I don't know, but does that put him in the Dwight Howard Hall of you Fame? You think status? that makes. No, because Dwight Howard's on the Hall of Fame. Should he be? Should. Will he be? Dwight Howard should be top 75 player. Will he be? He'll be a top 100 player, I bet. No, in the Hall of Fame. Yeah, they'll, they'll both make it. So Rudy Gobert will make it then. We know this. <laughs> hey. The Lakers, I mean, uh, the Lakers starting five right now will get in the Hall of Fame somehow. <laughs> right, for real. Yeah. <clears throat> How about that dunk from uh, Anthony Edwards the other night? That was nice. Was it a dunk or was it a slap in? Slap in. I think. I, you you got to touch the rim with a dunk. I mean, it looked cool as hell. Yeah, but you got to touch the rim He can cuss that dude. <laughs> yeah. Like Blake Griffin had like, a lot of those. He had a lot of those. Yeah. That one on the baseline where he just. Yeah. Sean Kemp called him out. He's like, it. he goes, that's a slap in. That ain't a dunk. Yeah, you got to be able to grab the rim. You gotta you know, like kind of rip just, on just it, right? It. Just rip on this game right now. Yeah. Are we, so right. yeah, uh, your Nuggets will probably win the whole thing, guys. <laughs> you're right. Is that so, what you're thinking, Nuggets Celtics? Yeah. No. Or do you think Nuggets I, Milwaukee? Nug- Nuggets Milwaukee. Wow, Milwaukee gets it done. Huh? I think so. Yeah. I think so. Well, they live and die by the three. Also, it's Giannis taking it to the hole or Dame. I think you had that one-two punch in the playoffs. If like, Chris who, Middleton's who, healthy, who they is, go who, far. Who's Boston's number two punch? There's supposedly Jalen Brown, but see, I'm gonna say Derek White. See, I think it's Christoph Pozingas. I don't think. He, I don't think so either. Think That's New York. Did you just take the New York out of your mouth sometimes? Hey, Jesus, come on now, KP baby. He's not good, and you know that. Hey, let's just let's be honest. The hype is yeah. not no, real. No, no, with no. hey, way overhyped. Oh no. So the NBA this is all, 17. <laughs> the NBA All Star Game. You know how they had uh, Steph Curry versus Sabrina. Yeah. So next, so next year they're talking about Trey Young versus Caitlin Clark. Are you happy with that? I like it. I think it's a good. I think it's good for this, both sports. I think so too. I think it's good for women's sports. But do you think Trey Young, or do you think Kate, or do you think Caitlyn should have her shot at Steph? I've, either one. I don't think it matters. Or, or do you need to have two new guys in there? Just T- two new is fine. But is Trey Young that person, or is it like Dame, three point contest champion? Like, if they went like distance, they put Dame in there because he shoots from the logo but, every time. But distance, a two time three point contest winner. I think, do you know what? Pull Larry out of retirement. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> hey, no. hey, pull Craig Hodges out of retirement. That's an underrated three-point yeah. champion. Oh, oh, I go back. Yes, go. Back to the NFL. I'm excited for you. Back to the NFL. You got me excited. What's going I got on? A, I got a who's who in the NFL. Oh, shit. Oh, okay. Yeah, who's who. Okay. Um, through the first 50 career starts, these are quarterbacks. Okay. Okay. I'm in. Let's go. The win-loss record. One guy is 20 and 30. Oh, the other guy is 19, 30, and 1. So pretty much the same almost. Sure. Okay. The passing rating, one guy is 85. The other guy is 86. Same. Okay. Uh, pass plus rush yards, one guy is 12,734. The other guy is 12,458. Okay. Okay. Pass touchdown to interception rate, um, 58, 39. The other guy is 57, 33. Wait, what was the ratio? Uh, touchdowns to interceptions. One guy was 58-39. This is one year. No, this is over the 50, 50 starts. Over 50 starts, okay. 58-39. and 39. Mm-hmm. The other guy is 57-33. and 33. You got me intrigued. Okay. Yards attempt, same, 6.7. Completion percentage, same, 63%. Who's the first guy and who's the second guy? You said a lot of rushing yards. Uh, no, I said combined pass and rush yards. Oh, that throws it off a little bit. Is one of them Cam Newton? No. They're both active players in the NFL. Oh, shit. Yes. And one gets looked at as being a top 10 quarterback. So it's nobody in the last three years then. Yeah. No well, way. Yeah. One's Jalen Hurts then. No. 
They're both they're both white. One guy oh. one guy gets looked at as a top ten quarterback, and the oh. other one gets looked at as he needs a replacement. Oh, so one's either Josh Allen or Herbert. No. What? Who else? What the? Hang on. Okay. It's not Herbert. They're white. I'm empty. Me too. Um, hang on. We gotta finish this before we take a break. Um, they play right now. Yeah. Kirk Cousins? No. Jesus. He's a run. A little bit. No. Are you counting Russell Wilson as white? <laughs> <laughs> um. You want me to tell you the division he plays? Play don't in? say Tannehill. No, I'm going to tell you the division they play in? No, give me one. I'm going to do one more guess, then you can do that. Okay. Uh, not Brock Purdy. He hasn't played long enough. Oh. Well, I said last three years. You said. 50, he hasn't played three years. Is, didn't he? He hasn't played two. Oh. I feel like forever. Oh. <laughs> uh, all right, I'm lost. Audience is gone. So tell me. Okay. <laughs> tell you your name or tell you the team? Tell me the Tell me the team. Team. One team is Jacksonville. Oh. Other team is the Giants. Lawrence and Eli Manning. Daniel Jones. <laughs> I'm just kidding, yeah. dude. So which one is which? Hey, you like those Eli Manning and uh Mellow commercials? I do actually. Corona's kind of fun, right? Yeah. So we which one's which? Daniel Jones is the one that's uh that has more than uh Trevor Lawrence. No. Oh. Okay, but he's right there with him. He's right there with him, right? And is it one quarterback looked at as top ten and the other ones looked at Replacement, right? So, what other stat are we missing that puts Daniel Jones in the category of he's not that good? I don't know because the, <laughs> because the win loss record, Trevor Lawrence is twenty and thirty, yep, and Daniel Jones is nineteen thirty and one. Passer rating eighty five to eighty six. I know. Passing your rush yards twelve thousand seven hundred to twelve thousand four hundred. Touchdown interception is 58 39, 57 33. There's got to be something that people are. I mean, when I look at both so, of them, I think Trevor Lawrence is better. Right, but is he really? Like, if you're looking at the stats and the numbers, totally understand what you're saying. He's I not. Just, he's what, not. But there's, are we missing something with Daniel Jones? What's is the it, turnovers? Is, is it the eye test? What's the turnovers? You said what Inter- were they again? Interceptions. Trevor, Trevor Lawrence, 39. Yeah. Daniel Jones, 33. Oh, Trevor Lawrence has more. Yes. Are we counting fumbles? <laughs> are we counting well no, no, it's, it's, you know it, this it's, it's just an interception stats are one thing but you always say eye test is different correct so, okay no. I third, test, I third test downs for, I what, test are, what are they what is their um, their completion percentage and what's their what's their ratio of hey, how many third downs do they complete yeah, I don't that know. kind of shit because right. decision making is going to be a big part of quarterback play obviously the eye test obviously says Trevor Lawrence is a better quarterback right the eye test but way better hair too but then yeah, Goldilocks <laughs> Fonzo, Fabio, Fabio, Fabio. Yeah. Remember when Fabio got hit in the uh, face with a bird on the no, roller coaster? No. You never seen that? I don't think so. Dude, this like seagull came right at his face and smashed him on. He was doing a test run on a new roller coaster for like Six Flags. Is that what, why he stopped doing modeling? Because I don't know. No, no dude, he just comes off with feathers and blood all over his face. Oh. You've never seen that? No, that was so I don't crazy. Need to. We gotta play that clip. It's hilarious. But. um I test says Trevor Lawrence is a better quarterback, but stats Ooh, almost lost my laptop. But stats say that um, Dan Jones is right there. I don't know. Give me a better take because I I I think either one could be replaced if we're going to talk about it like that. You know what I mean? Well, yeah, but we don't. But we don't. We we put Trevor Lawrence at such a high level, mm-hmm. and Dan Jones is right there. Are we going to talk about Caleb Williams today? No, no. What what for? He ain't done anything. He ain't not in the NFL yet. That's why I think so too. So move on. <laughs> Well, the biggest sport of the year is is happening right now. Oh, you want to take a break first? I will take a break, but I need you to show. I need to show you this, Fabio. <laughs> oh wow, <laughs> dude, Damn. is that not wild? And that girl's laughing at him. Dude, he looks. Right. He looks pissed. Vacation laundry. <laughs> Vacation laundry. Yeah, at that. Everything smells like the sea. Right. Everything's all salty and musty. Welcome back, everybody. We don't have to say that. We've already been here. <laughs> oh, oh. All good, right. Good so pour. March good. Madness. Hey, did you fill out a bracket? Yeah. Yeah. Did you I fill out like, bra- like five of them. Oh, pff, Jesus. You know, I've just lost like, you know, $80 on random bets. I'm so stupid. I yeah. won one. I won one in the first round. Dude, I lost a bet on the over. By or I bet on the under. I can't remember what game it was. By a half point, I lost it. 
I, I don't get it. Ah, uh, that sucks. I mean, like, I'm sitting there, I'm like, okay, we got this. Right. The over under was like 181, right? And it's the total was, was 182. Wow. A 181 and a half is what I had as my bet. Right. And I can't remember what game it was, but I stayed up late watching. It was like 10 o'clock at night. I'm like, and these guys are still going, they're fouling each other over and over and over. The game is over. And they're just hitting free throw after free throw after free throw. I'm like, you got to be kidding me. So then I think I'm going to hedge it and I'm going to, the move, the line moves to, so it started at 180 and I thought it was good. And then I hedged it because it went, to, I was like, oh, maybe I'll go to a 181 and a half. So I'll, I'll do that. Right. So I got one more, one and a half points. I lost $50. Wow. Fuck. Damn. Dude, March Madness is wild. Yeah. What's, uh, what, who do you have winning it all in one of your five brackets? I have UConn. <sighs> Typical. Houston. Okay. I like that one. Arizona. No. I know. I... They're doing good. They play today. What are they playing? 11? No, they played yesterday. I thought they played today. No. Oh. <laughs> My bad. Yeah, sir. Um, hey, pick up the energy. You left all the energy in the laundry room? What's no, no, up? no, 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 no. I'm thinking. You asked me questions, so I'm thinking. Um, I got Houston. I got UConn. I got U of A. You think U of A has a chance to win it all? I mean, anyone does, let's be honest. But I mean, I mean they have a chance if the, if the right teams are knocked out. Right. You know, so. so who do you think they match up bad against? What's the ba- what's the one you're like? I don't want to see that game. Um, Creighton. There's two games I don't want to see. I don't want to see Carolina. Really? I think they can handle Carolina no problem. I don't want to see UConn <laughs> unless it's the championship. We well, won't be. Are you guys on the same side? No. The, yeah, the, they'll play them in the first final four game. Oh. So I, I get lost in the regions. Yeah. What's uh what's a wild uh well, only two real major upsets, Wisconsin and Kentucky. Yeah. Which I don't know if the Wisconsin one is that big of an upset because they were a five seed, right? Yeah, twelve five usually beats beat that happens though. Twelve five is usually not not a major upset. The the Kentucky one, the fourteen seed beating beating them is a is an upset. Oakland, is that who beat them? Yeah. Who's that? Uh, I don't I don't know. I think that somebody Detroit. with something to prove. That's Detroit. what that was. Detroit, maybe I think that hey, it's because people are saying, Oh, Kentucky's all freshmen, that's why they're getting beat. And I'm like, mm, they're still Kentucky. They they got like three NBA play, NBA players. Well, are they going to go to the NBA? They will now. Or do you think they're going to stay one more year? No, I say they stay one more year and run it. No, Cal just refresh the whole team. They don't. They don't have no. But here, that's what I'm saying because they're all young and they're all freshmen. For that, it's a majority, right? Some of these freshmen are still going to go to the league. One, two will probably go, right? But I would say I, in my personal opinion, I'd be like, you have the NIL, right? You could get money now. Why don't you just stay and win an NCAA championship? Yeah, because you, wouldn't that be cooler? But you want to get to that second contract in the NBA? Because so think about this, dude. No, I, no, you're not wrong. But think about this: to win, because we will play the game to win, right? Right, Herm Edwards. <laughs> you play to win the game. <laughs> <laughs> so when you're looking at it, I'm like, okay, you get to get to the league. Guess what's going to happen? You're going to be Detroit. You're going to Houston. You're going to be on. Uh, you're going to be on a team that might not be winning. And you're with this upper echelon of basketball players. I want to go win now, win a yeah, title. I want to get you a second contract. I understand the money, so but you can get money in the NIL, though. Not that you can't in the NBA. No, I'm not saying that, but I'm saying as kids, you still have time. That's the point. You have time, and you wouldn't you rather win a championship? Some win the chip, stuff, dude. But some of the kids may not have time due, That'd to, be an, due to their families. No, I, I get it. Well, there's also probably family pressure, too. We can right. get you know deep yeah. dive into that shit. Yeah, so who do you have to win it all? I like Houston. Yeah, it's a good solid team. I do. I, I like Houston. They've been flip flopping what number one to number three all year. You know what I mean? Yeah, they've been doing pretty good. I think U of A has a good chance. I really do. Well, it's all about matchups, though. Like I don't no. like today. Today at three o'clock, um, Baylor and Clemson plays. That'll be good. So that the winner of that plays U of A. I watched Oregon so, and Creighton last night, double overtime. No, single it overtime. was what? Did you do you want to do this again? Yeah, it went to double overtime. No, see, not double overtime. Do I have to do this? No, I'm, I'm gonna phone a friend. I'm, I'm gonna call my wife because she watched it with me. I was on a plane. I don't know. <laughs> then why are you talking <laughs> shit? <laughs> um, yeah. So Baylor and Clemson played today. Hey, so far you're 0 for three today. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I'm still on that on that on that time zone. It's um, only two hours. It ain't weird, that crazy. Though, but it's weird. I thought I, for for the longest time I thought it was three hours ahead. No, because they're East Coast. I mean, almost. Why no? So I was. You think? It, Did you meet hours. a lot of people from New York and like East Coast? No. Because I feel like the J- Jamaica is like the East Coast Cabo. No, there's a lot of people from Canada, uh, a lot of people from like Cleveland. A lot of spring breakers? Yeah. 
But they said it was busier last week. That, that was more spring breakers last week. I'm guessing the East Side, the East Coast had more. Well, that's when we went to Disney because the spring break. Our yeah. kids were in spring break. But Dice Art and all them locals yeah. here are all now. Right. Which the morning drive is good. No high schools work. High schoolers to worry about. Easy, right? <sighs> There's always one accident every week. It seems like. Yeah. Learn how to drive. Jesus. So you were saying something about as far as uh, is it me or is the men's not watch as much this season? Maybe it was just me. Like it I didn't is watch you. Man, I was trying to watch college yeah, basketball you a little don't, bit. Though. Can I say the sentence? Yeah, you can, can I say the sentence? Go ahead. I didn't watch it as much this year, which when actually, by the, this is the most, the least amount I watched. No, I watched it more last year, too. I don't remember. Anyway, we can go check tape. We have it on film. Okay, yeah. But what I'm saying is, I didn't watch it like I did. And I wasn't like, I need to watch this. Like, usually at work, I'm like, hmm, you know, I got three monitors, dude, so I can watch anything I want. You know what I mean? I didn't watch one game. I didn't even check highlights or updates or nothing. That's because you always. All this football and shit, bullshit. You and Pat, like, get off that shit. It's off season. Who gives a shit? Move on to the next sport that's, that's current right now. <laughs> well, but, NFL's but, but, but still then, relevant. But, but though. then you get mad. Every sport is relevant in the off season, but you get mad when other other people talk about other sports. I didn't. No, I'm not saying. I'm not saying. No, no. You. Your your anger is protected to me. You look at the camera, your <laughs> I'm just, camera. I'm just saying. And you tell him. I'm just saying that you get mad when when people talk about other sports that are relevant to them. During the actual time they're playing, and not just or just or, or even during the off season, You're like dude, I don't give a shit. Fuck that. <laughs> <laughs> Talk about the sports that are in season right now. Period. Okay, so who's winning the the PGA Tour Japan thing tonight? <laughs> I'm just kidding. Dude. Who are the leaders? I don't even. Yeah, who are the leaders? Believe me. Hey, I was on tilt the other night after losing that 181 and a half deal. Oh my god. I had like 80 bucks still from another win that I had because I've only won one bet. I'm still down for the tourney. We won't talk about overall. Um, <laughs> I was like, let me find some live sports. I'm making this money up right now. I see. I don't even know why I thought this. This is how stupid I am. I saw there's a PGA tournament that just started in Japan. I picked three winners. All of them have, are down, down to like 18, 19. Uh, one didn't make the cut on for Saturday. I'm like, because it was big it was good money because everything starts like the winners start at like six to one oh, i'm like 20 bucks six to one i'll oh. make my money back because 120 yeah. would be good yeah no 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 the betting gods hate me or i'm just dumb hmm. betting is hard i don't care who you are yeah it is hard you could do this like if you look at it okay so it's totally different than investments so if you look at nvidia uh apple whatever right if you make 4 or 5% on the year on what you invest in, that's a fucking win, right? Right. right. But nobody will take an 8 to 1 uh or you know like a you know say like Gonzaga or not Gonzaga. Let's say Yukon is uh favored against whoever their 16 seed was, you know, they're 8 to 1 favorite. It's minus 800. It ain't a lot, but it's a good percentage on top. You put 100 bucks down, you win 110. You win $10. If you won $10, if you made <laughs> thousand dollars on a a ten thousand dollar investment you're cool with it but in betting it's not like that at all if i'm articulating it correctly it's like no one will go they want to take a parlay or they want to take this and you're just like nobody's everyone wants to double their money or make like some ridiculous amount we're all in love with that ridiculous amount is what yeah, i'm trying to say yeah, we are because we're like well if i get all six of these to happen yep, this is i'm gonna win ten thousand dollars but nobody goes i'm gonna put a thousand dollars in and hopefully make Twelve hundred, and I'm going to make a thousand, and let's make two hundred, because right. you know that they're going to win, right? Yeah. For the most part. Yeah. Is that weird how they do? How people do that? Well, everybody wants that quick fix. That quick. No, I. That's what, that's kind yeah. of the point. If I articulated that correctly, right? This will not be a clip. No, 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 no. <laughs> no, be nice. It won't. It won't. <laughs> we'll see what the AI says. Yeah. Right. Hey, that's all that is. You know that, right? For sure. Shout out Opus Clip, man. Dope. That's a dope program, man. You like it? Yeah, hell yeah. Well, you you tell me. Which one? I all of our clips are. I put them in Opus Clip. I don't. I don't chop them up anymore. Oh. I save so much time. Oh yeah. And then all I do is kind of edit them as they go, just a little bit. You think that's what LeBron and, and Reddick will do? Oh yeah. They well no. See, they're gonna have. Well, first of all, you got LeBron money, which is endless, and JJ Reddick got good money too. So I didn't even. See, I didn't see that pair happening. That came out of nowhere. Yeah, I did. I just randomly was scrolling, like always, doom scrolling. And all of a sudden, I'm like, what is happening here? I see LeBron on a podcast. I'm like, he had his uh, barbershop on HBO. Yeah. Cool, right? It's fun. 
when you look at this one, they have this behind the scenes cut kind of thing where it's just audio and they're trying to get prepped for the show. And, and JJ's like, look, I want it to be a little cunning. I want it to be informative. I want it to be, I want a little, you know, I'm paraphrasing. He's like, I want it to be razzle dazzle. It's if we're, we love the game. We're going to talk about the game. We're not going to talk about hate. We're not going to talk about this. And I was like, okay, okay. I, kind of a, not an odd couple in a sense, yeah, but a like, bit. but like not, a, I, I say odd couple, but I mean like, it's not who I thought would be. Yeah, LeBron would pair up. I wouldn't pair up with them. Would you think LeBron would pair up with like PG, you know, Paul George, or maybe even yeah. who else? Like who's in his camp? Like him and Draymond. Well, Draymond's on his own. Or him, <laughs> him and Melo. Or D Wade, because Dwayne Wade has his podcast. Everyone's got a podcast yeah. now, guys. Pick yeah. somebody. Yeah. Podcasting is our MySpace page now. <laughs> Am I wrong? No. But pick ours. <laughs> pick ours though. Yeah. Pick two beers, two mics. Yeah. yeah. Like, follow, subscribe on every social media outlet you can think of. We exist. Hey, we're on Rumble. Did you know that? I don't know what that is. Me neither, but people are on it, so I put it out there. No, okay, okay. <laughs> What's this uh, baseball news? What's this? Um, Wait, elaborate on the JJ. You didn't even tell me your opinion on the JJ Reddick and LeBron. I, thing. I said it's, it's a weird. It's you a think weird it's going to be cool? I think it'd be fine. Don't try to hurry me out of here. I'm going to get mad right now. Don't you do that. I know what you're doing. I know what you're doing. Hurry me out of here. Hurry me out of oh, here. Oh, no, no, no. I think it'd be fine. Will you tune in? Probably not. Why? <laughs> I never tune in. You don't watch podcasts at all? I do a little bit, but not like... Megan thinks I'm crazy because I'll put them up on the big screen. And she's like, why are you watching this? I go, it's a podcast. Mm. I mean, I watch it, but I'm not like... I literally watch Joe Rogan's podcast called Protect Our Parks. Like his, It's it's Ari Shafir and Shane Gillis and Mark Norman and himself. All they do is drink and smoke and for five hours and talk shit, and it's hilarious. I mean, they're comedians, so they're always right. funny. Yeah, I can watch that. Megan's like, this is crazy. Why would you watch this? I'm like, because <laughs> it's what I would do. Yeah, it's oh, what no. we're doing right no, now. No, no, I mean it's fine. Like I watch it, but I don't. I don't have. I don't have time, man. But you got time to watch a game? No, I don't. <laughs> what are you telling me? You don't. What do you mean you don't have time? Because I, I I record the game and I fast forward through half of it. Okay, but what are you doing in the meantime? What what's going on? You have one kid. I got two kids in sports, and I watch all this shit. So you tell me how much time to, you don't have. I just got shit to do, man. I just don't have time. You have to, that doesn't help me. It's behind the scenes stuff. All right, here we go. Um, yeah, anyway, JJ Reddick, LeBron, new pod. Uh, you, do you know else. what it's called? No. Oh, okay. Shout out that. <laughs> I, I don't know what it's called. So. I thought it was cool. They drink wine. That's cool. Just yeah. like we are. This is our wine. Yeah, it's our wine. We're going to church. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty much. Today we are. <laughs> it's Hell Sunday. Yeah. So, spring training is almost over. Baseball. Can you tell I'm going to spring training later today? Yeah. Who are they playing? Cubs. Here? I mean, yeah. there. everyone's gone though, so it's all minors. Oh, yeah, right. Because season starts this week. Yeah. yeah. I think it Thursday. kicks off Tuesday, technically. Well, it kicked off last week when um, Dodgers and Padres in Korea. <laughs> yes. I'm glad you said Dodgers and Korea and Asians, and which alludes to Otani. Otani. What was that all about? Spring that. I don't understand what's Wait going on. Wait a minute. You don't know any about this? I know about Are the- you kidding me? No, I don't. You don't know what's happening? I, something about interpreter. I don't know. Talk oh, Tony's one of us, bro. What are you talking about? He's he's a gambler like the rest of us. He's betting on sports. Oh. You, if you don't know, Otani is betting on sports like everybody else. And he can't do that. You're not supposed to. Oh. We got a little Pete Rose action going on right here. Oh. And they fired his interpreter. Because the interpreter slipped? Something? Bro, he took the fall. Oh. Come on, man. Come on. So what did interpreter say? He didn't, I don't know. I wasn't there. Oh, uh, he just. They're saying that they let him go because he was the one who made the bet for Otani. And that's the alleged gosh. thing is like, now there's an investigation. Nothing will happen. No, no. That no, guy no. sells a billion tickets. Are you kidding me? Yeah, nothing will happen. The, all those things over in Korea where they were just were, every, was it three games against Padres? All sold out. I mean, packed to the nines. Gone. Like there's no, no seats, no parking, no nothing. That's how much he sells. You know how much money they made on those three games, oh, the MLB? Oh, for sure. They could pay, they could pay Alex Rodriguez's contract six times over. That's probably, how much money they made. Pretty much. And I'm talking about the Rangers contract. That's or, a big or, one. Or they probably could have paid Otani's contract already. But do you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Hey, that dude's gonna sell tickets. They're gonna be like, we launched an investigation. Oh, sure you did. Just to please the public. My fa- but you saw the gif, uh, the thing I posted on Twitter, the yeah. <laughs> John Candy. Oh, sure. Oh, sure, sure, sure. sure. Oh, sure. Oh, sure. sure. Oh, sure. <laughs> just to please, just just to please the, the public that we're doing Oh, because somebody's like, 
this should be jail time. I'm like, calm down. Right. Hey, right. We all do it. Right. We're all gamblers. But I mean, the NFL. None of our kids are going the, to college. The, the NFL at least suspends their players. One, Calvin Ridley. Well, they suspend some, some players like ten games or eight games or whatever. But even, yeah, but they ain't gonna do that for a time. Well, if they give them a suspension, it's because there's too much, uh, too much going on in the social media. That's um, right. Am I wrong? Or too much evidence to not do something. There'll be evidence. I mean, saying like like too much evidence. But you can easily just go, that's his account. That's not mine. Like he has to go. Where did he get the money? Where did you get, what was that, three and a half million dollar yeah, layer? Fund, where, did the, where did you get the funding from? That's a lot of money. It's a lot of cheese for an interpreter. Would he get suspended? That's what I'm saying. So if he gets suspended. It's How long gonna, is it? Maybe 10 games. <sighs> they can't afford, hey, they can't afford half a season. It's 50 games. Hey, they can't afford that. They have to. No way. They have to send a message. Dodger, but they won't though. I know. Hey, and then Pete Rose gets in in 2027. <laughs> <laughs> if they don't, if, if really, if they don't suspend this guy, or they don't suspend him and, and put Pete Rose in the Hall of Fame this year. Breaking news. It's like nice straight off. Breaking news. Would you do that? Would you be like, that's cool? <laughs> right? <laughs> like Pete Rose gets in the Hall of Fame. Would you not be cool with that? Pete Rose should be in the Hall of Fame regardless. Well, Who cares? Be, yeah. Just like all the steroid users should be yeah, in there. Who yeah, cares? Yeah. Yeah. Give him steroids now, LeBron. I said it. Yeah. Everyone's like, longevity. And I'm like, mm, steroids, bro. Come on. We know. We know the thing in Miami with the, with the other guy. Yeah. You don't think Kobe has steroids? Oh, I'm not saying nobody. I'm not saying Shaq didn't do uh, it either. I'm saying let him do it. Yeah. Even playing field. Peptides. <laughs> I do peptides. I'm just shredded. What? What else you got? What else did I write down? Oh, did we do social media again? Because we have to redo it because we sucked in the beginning and didn't record anything. Okay, what's this, what's this major pushback on social media? The 90s don't... Oh, I have mean, you seen this TikTok crap? No. We're done with the 90s? No. First of all, I know you've seen it because this is from your algorithm. Well, I don't, I, maybe <laughs> I just like... Stop it. For real. Stop it. You create your own algorithm, just so you know. I mean, I may look at it, but I don't. I just keep going though. That's that's all. All you had to say was, "I may look at it," okay. and that's that's it. Remember, 10, 15 seconds in, they got okay. you. So they're trying to ban it real quick. They're trying to ban it. You think it happens or no? Ban what TikTok? Yeah. No. I, all of the what is it like? I don't know the number because I don't know. Is the, it because it's from China that way? They say that a Chinese company owns it. I thought Microsoft bought it. I don't know. My, I'm just dumb. Or oh, they're trying to recreate something in America then to keep it going. We or? have that. It's called Instagram. <laughs> no, because you can't. Um, well, yeah, yeah. But no, they just don't have the long form stuff yet. Because we can put we put our podcast on yeah. TikTok, yeah. right? You can put do a long form. The other thing is, so the fuck are we talking about? The, ni- the TikTok, pushback nineties. The pushback. Shit. Oh yeah, we're done with the nineties shit. That's just millennials just crybaby crap. That's all that is. But what is it about? I don't understand. The People are saying, because there's a big LeBron-Jordan debate right now, right. which they'll be forever, guys. Forever. This is what it is. And this is what social media drives, right? So right now, kids are hashtagging, oh, or whatever it may be. We're done with the 90s. Trash, players, all that kind of stuff. It's like, <laughs> there's no... Oh, so this is a sports thing. You're, yeah, you're out of your... You were done with the 90s basketball. That's, oh, that's what it was. Oh, okay, okay. No, no, no. You can't do that. No. Hell no. no. One, look at this. Let me, let me give you this example. LeBron was drafted in 2003, right? Yeah. Jordan played and retired in 2002, the second retirement, right? I think 2003 he, play, he played. Nonetheless, LeBron came, or LeBron well, came in. LeBron played the same year. Jordan played in the league, huh? I don't think so because they would have played each other. Yeah, they never you're, did. You're right. You're right. So, but then. Well, 2002-2003 season is, is Jordan's last season. The point of it is, is these little whiny crybabies that don't like the fact that Jordan was Michael Jordan and they want their hero to be the guy. I get the push, right? No problem. But they're trying to say, like, overall, I'm like, you know, there's no 90, none of, a lot of these players, even like, you go Kobe, Stephon Marbury, Kevin, Dar- Kevin uh, Garnett, all these guys were drafted in the late 90s. Vince Carter, Tracy Shaq. McGrady, all of Shaq, Shaq's, you know, draft 92. It's like, yo, LeBron is LeBron for this time. Right. The 90s, not, a lot of today does not happen without the 90s. And a lot of the 80s, not, right. it's how it works. It's how the evolution of basketball works. Guys, they're still, People don't get this stuff. <laughs> There's a lot of players that could play today with the same skills that they had in the 80s. There's a lot of players oh, that could sure. go back today and go pl- sure. back and play the 80s. That, sure. Hey, and there's a lot of players today right now that are in the league that could, to be honest, could struggle against <laughs> the, the 80s players. Yep. You know what I'm saying? 
a lot, 80% of the NBA right now would not be able to play in the 90s basketball. I don't think so. You heard it here first, folks. They would not be able to play in the 90s basketball. Hey, I'm, I'm 100% with you, and I'm not being biased. I'm, I watch all the NBA. I watch all the eras. And I think We're if, only if that, talking about a, a, I mean, a very short removal of Jordan to LeBron, or even Kobe to Jordan. Right. Kobe played with Jordan. Yeah, yeah. I mean, the rules... Had, you can't say done with the 90s. That's the, my point. The rules, is, is that some dictated, whiny the rules have dictated the, the shift in the NBA as far as how it's, how it's being played. Um, There's that. But a lot, of it, a lot of the players now, I mean, granted, they have adapted to the way their style is played right now, but they would not be able to play back in the 90s. Did you, <laughs> did you see Brandon Jennings on, on uh, Gilbert Arenas' pod? Because I know he's in your algorithm. Yeah, no, I didn't see When him. they asked him about the uh, <laughs> how many Euro players play defense... No, yeah. And Brandon James like, yeah, top, all the Euro players are like top five right now. There's only Euro players. And he mentioned two Canadians, didn't mention any Euros. <laughs> <laughs> and <laughs> Gilbert goes, he's from Canada. He's, I think he said SGA. I think he Canada. said somebody else. And he goes, Canada. <laughs> Who else is from and Canada? then Brandon Jennings. Well, who else they, is from Canada? They, it sucks because Brandon Jennings was a great player. Remember, he was like one of the first ones to go like overseas, then come to yeah. the NBA. But right? Who, who's who's from Canada? That's top player right now, other than SGA. Oh, I don't remember who else he said. Off the top of my head, I can't remember. R.J. Barrett? Yeah, maybe. But he wasn't talking about top. Or he wasn't talking oh, about R.J. Barrett as being a top. But he was talking about um, other, another guy, too, that I was like, another Canadian. Oh, I can't remember who it was. White dude. But anyway, this shit was funny. <laughs> that is funny. I like Gilbert Arenas, but his takes, come on, man. What are we doing? I, what I are we doing? I think it's entertaining, though, some of his takes. No, I'm not saying they spark... They spark the what, argument. And, and that's what that's I think. That's but what when he, he stands on it, you go. Well, you have to though. Come on, man. You have to stand on it. No, I get it. No, so what I think he's vying for, this is just my opinion. I think he's vying for like a position at ESPN or a position in a top media company. To debate. To like, do something like that. But that doesn't always get you that far. No, no, but who was the guy that was on uh <laughs> Ryan something? Not Ryan Clark, but Ryan, somebody who's a basketball player, played for the Nuggets and Spurs. Um Ryan Holland? Yeah, remember him on ESPN, like first taking stuff? They kicked his ass out of there. His takes were so bad. Oh, well, yeah. You're like, even Steve, <laughs> Steve and all those guys are like, hey, he has, he's, you have, last time you've seen him ever. I don't know. He's a couple yeah, years, right? Yeah. He was on that show. He's not even on Fox anymore. No, he's not on anything. I don't know where he's at. Hey, because he's terrible. And that's where I think Gilbert Arenas is trying to get to a Ryan Hollandish kind of spot. And I go, look what happens to that, though. I think Gilbert has a lot more. Good takes and good thoughts with his arguments, like like you can actually see his side. Ryan, you couldn't see his side. Gilbert, I think you can actually say, you know what, I kind of see where you're going with it, and it makes sense. You may not agree with it, but you. Can I like kinda, Agent Zero for the record, but you can kind of see it. You know what I'm saying? You can kind of and like, you're gonna you're gonna battle for him because he's a U of A guy anyway. Well, of course, but but you can. I'm not I'm not biased, um, <laughs> but you can kind of see what Gilbert is saying. Hey, you know I got a funny story about being at his compound in Tucson. No, what's up? So I worked for this sports company, this sports construction company, right? Local here in Phoenix. And uh, he has a compound in in Tucson. Now, I was told this was his house. He was not there. So the groundskeeper or whoever was there, like a mate, it wasn't like you just pulled up and it was this extravagant thing. It was a lot of property behind a gate. You know what I mean? So I'm taking photo. They want to put a basketball court in the area. So this is what my job was to go where they should put it and this kind of stuff, right? Long story short, I'm taking photos, blah, blah, blah. He has these two big white, like big fluffy dogs. I don't know what the hell they're called. They're not Huskies or like that, but I don't know what. uh, They're probably like Serbian something. They're just big white dogs. Friendly. I take my photos, take my measurements, get out of there. I go back and upload my photos. Dude, these dogs are humping. And I took photos (laughs) of it. I didn't even see it. Gilbert Arenas' dogs were humping in front of my camera. <laughs> I couldn't believe what I was watching. I come back and I upload, and I'm doing a presentation to show the estimating team what I saw. And everyone goes, what was that? <laughs> and I'm like, oh, my God. Hey, I didn't even notice. I had wow. no idea. Now, my only thought, <laughs> it was funny. That's funny as hell. But it was <laughs> so funny because... They said that was Gilbert's house, but I, I still kind of part of me goes, mm, maybe it wasn't. They just no, said that. No, I don't know. You never know. It was a nice spot. No, yeah. we're in Tucson. Could so I couldn't even tell no. you right now, this, dude. That's like fifteen years ago. No, that's okay. Dogs humping. Gilbert Dogs house. Humping. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> yeah. 
So who's your World Series pick for <laughs> That's baseball? That's a crazy switch. <laughs> I went from eating pussy to baseball, just yeah, like that. Yeah, just like that. <laughs> so who's your World Series pick? Uh, the Braves. Match versus who? Mm, probably, probably, probably Houston again. I know. It's going to be Houston or, or the Rangers. No. You think the Rangers lost too much on the rotation? I think Mariners so. got a tough rotation, dude. They do. They look good, man. Ooh, speaking of this shit, did I tell you this? No. My son got Luis yeah, Castillo's told me told me this. autograph. Shout out Luis Castillo. That's awesome. La Piedra. Oh, my God. That's awesome. Oh, my. Oh, my mic went out. Did your mic go up? No. <laughs> oh, that's why. <laughs> That's why. That's why. <laughs> no, uh, it was, no, that was awesome when you, when you showed me that. That was awesome. Dude, my kids were killing in the autograph thing. Hell got yeah. Julio's so close so many times and he never got it. But they, they're... Mm. Today? No, we're not going to get it today. They're already gone. Oh, Starters oh, are all gone. It's right. all minors that's today. Right, that's right. That's right. Um, today's the last day? Tomorrow. Yeah, today's last day. Tomorrow is... Uh, there's, only, there's only five games total in the Valley today. There's two tomorrow. And the Mariners go play Padres tomorrow in, in Petco. And I think it, it's spring training, but I mean they're not here. I don't know why they call it that, but and I don't even know what the exhibition game they're. I, it's an exhibition game because the season starts on Wednesday, right? Technically Wednesday or Thursday. Yeah, I don't know. Baseball is gonna be so hard to call. It really will be because yeah. we're we'll, we're gonna do this pod, and then it's like gonna be, like, oh, I like this team, and then it's like, well, guess who's faltered, and then it's like, oh, these teams will end up being there. Yeah, if I think if Baltimore Orioles could learn from last season. Well, they kept most of their team together. They, they, they can mostly learn, they can learn and grow from last yeah. season. Yeah, yeah, I yeah. think they will be there. I could see that they're my they're my team out of the A. I'd love to see the Mariners just get to the playoffs again. That's Dude, all. I think they. I, I don't think, have any expectations. Well, the problem is they're in the West with Houston and Texas. And yeah, I mean that that's the problem. We ain't worried about the A's. We ain't worried about the Angels. No, it's just, it's, it's Houston and Texas and you guys. Like you potentially could have three teams out of the West because you only have one out of the Central. It's true. Whether it's Cleveland or Minnesota. Well, we, we got the dude, we got their fuck, one of their best hitters from Minnesota. That's though, what I'm saying. So now. it's either it's either going to be Minnesota, He's our second baseman. Minnesota, White Sox, or Cleveland. I can see Cleveland. Um, Cleveland. Hey, I th- I can see Cleveland. But it's one sure. team though. Yeah. And the AL East might have two teams. Who? Who do you got? I got I got Boston and Tampa. I can't I can't argue. If with Tam- that. Yeah, but Tampa's got to like pace themselves. Right. They right. came out on fire, and yeah. then what happened? They still made it though. No, I know, but yeah. Toronto might be there too, though. But yeah. I think the bottom of that barrel is going to be Yankees and. You think the they're going to be again? They're not going to make the playoffs. I don't think so. I don't. I, with Garrett Cole out for two months with his elbow injury, I saw that. That was tough, dude. And and they didn't go sign Blake Snell or a starter. Yeah, Blake Snell went to the Giants. Giants, come on. So they don't have enough. You can only score so many runs, but if you've given up more runs than you score, it doesn't matter. Well, you guys have Juan Soto. That's what I'm saying. You can score runs, but if your pitching give, gives up more runs, it, it, it doesn't matter. That's, that's Mariner's problem last year. Right? So um, I think they're going to be on the bottom. I, so I, I look I look at Tampa and Baltimore. Toronto may be fighting Tampa, but I think this Baltimore division to lose. I can see that. Yeah. <laughs> what else we got on this paper? What do we got? Nothing. We're talking about K. Middleton. Yeah. What was it? Otani. Yeah. I don't think anything happens with Otani. I think oh. he gets suspended. We're going to talk about, well, we can talk about it for a second. Is Ime a good coach or no? I think he is. I don't, I don't think you take a bunch of young kids and. I think coaching is very important in the NBA, but I also think that if you have a good head, if you take, take the Miami Heat from, with LeBron and those guys, they really didn't need Spolstra. They could have done it themselves. Could they? I think so. Remember, my, LeBron went down there to learn how to win. You don't learn how to win sure. without a coach and a player that's there. I'm just saying, in the NBA, there's so. There's a lot of very well Okay, well, look, look at Doc Rivers. He's that? actually turned the Bucks around more than They people. were already good without Doc Rivers. Not, not, not disciplined good. Not d- defensively good. I don't know. I, I don't know why we keep hiring Doc Rivers. What well, are we doing? I don't know either, but, but still. Am I wrong? No, no. Not wrong. Is that a weird? I don't think that's even a weird take. Like, How does that guy always have a job, yet he gets fired every year? He does. I what know. am I? What's what going I on? I don't know. I think coaching is important. Yeah. It's probably the least important in all the sports, major sports. Yeah, because you need a manager in baseball. You definitely need football. You need all the coaches. Right. Like Soccer, you just need someone to basketball, watch you, you, just, you just need to have a good coach that has good schemes, good play calling. 
Like this is what yeah. I want to do. This is what I want to draw. Yeah. And the players would just take it to take it and go. I got you. But I think e- e- May, uh is a good coach. I think he is a good coach. A lot think, of young players on I'm that Houston so team, why, man. So I think that's why they are they are winning now. They finally are learning how to play the game of basketball on the NBA level and win. Man, Plus, Jalen Green having a third kid in like twelve months. He likes to. He likes to. Well, so get, do I. But wrap it up, though, dude. I'm with you. Don't be a Sean Kemp. Clump. Kemp. Stop it. Sh- well. Today was going really well. <laughs> God damn it, James. Welcome back, right? Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, Jalen Green is a baller, though. Aria Tom- Aria, is it Aria Thompson? He's got twin brother plays with the Pistons. P- P- the Pistons guy is out for the year. I know. <laughs> Pistons. What are we going to do? I'd sit out, dude. Yeah. Oh, you guys don't need me, right? <laughs> I know. But uh, surprisingly, though, they don't have the worst record anymore. No. Washington does. I know. But if you would have thought, like, at the beginning of the season, Detroit would not have the worst record going into the end of the season. You will lost money. How bad is Jordan Poole? Dude. Am I missing something? Is he playing his way? Is he is he playing is he bad pl- on purpose? That so this is what I'm saying. Like, so he's a role player for the Warriors. The championship season, right? He did great as a role player. So, th- so he's trying to be the man somewhere, and he's not the man. So that's coaching then. And I think that's also the Warriors going, You think you're bad? Bye. Also, Draymond knocked you out. Well, yeah. <laughs> but that's also the team knows. <laughs> Sorry, the coach knows, right? They, yeah. they know what kind of player you are. Like you're not that guy that you think you are. Yeah. I, just not. To me, well, the Wizards are, have a problem anyway. They should probably move to Seattle. But you know what I'm saying? <laughs> well, who goes on those games? Yeah. You can't have a same thing with the with the Washington Commanders. Like that area. Like go Ooh, to spark something. Go ahead. Go to Virginia or go to what's what's right there, Virginia or. Maryland or Carolina. I don't, Go to Carolina. Like pick a pick, pick a state. Joint, yeah. Be in Raleigh and then have Charlotte on the west and then have Raleigh on the east. Like pick a state and pick a city in that state, right? And you will gravitate those fans toward that more so than you, you get a combustion of Baltimore a get an NBA team. Well, yeah, why not? Baltimore Bullets, right? No, no <laughs> can't, can't use can't use the BB. Hey, no. but I show the finger guns for. The I game. mean, Baltimore has has baseball and, and basketball and football, so why not basketball? I, no, I, you're not wrong. I'm just saying, like three major sports over there. Why not Baltimore Wizards? Speaking right of there. Commanders, what do you think of Seattle Seahawks picking up Sam Howell? I want to know. I want to know. Like, hey, did you actually you saw that happen? Obviously. I did see that happen. So, what do you think? What do you? Well, you, you, I think you, I think Drew Locke wasn't your backup. Like, like you need a formidable backup because when Gino gets hurt, you need somebody to come in to sustain at least two or three weeks. And I think Sam Howell is that guy. You want to hear? You want to hear something wild? You think Sam Howell beats Gino you know, Smith for the starting job? No, no, I wasn't going to say that. I think no, it's. I'm telling you, I don't think that happens. Okay. Not, but what I'm saying, what I'm, I'm on the wave, but I'm behind you a little bit. Okay. You know what I mean? Okay. What I'm saying is, or what I'm going to tell you is, I think it's Sam's job when Gino goes. Like, oh. go, Cino, Gino goes next year to like the Saints he or, and he finishes his career. Because, dude, we're going to year 12 for Gino. You know what I mean? So, Gino's been around for a long time. That's not a Mike Modano guy, though. You got you to remember who I you're. know. So, you got to remember I who know. You have. And they have a quarterback who's the same age as all the kids coming out today, <laughs> right? Yeah. He's the same age. Yeah. Am I wrong? No, no, I don't no, know why no, that's funny. No, no, but, no, no, but it's, it is funny. But he's like, it he's, is funny. hey, Spencer well, Rattler's he, older than him. Well, his, Caleb his, Williams is the same age as him. His backup, Drake May, is not coming into the league. But you know what I'm saying? Yeah, it's crazy. So you got a kid with one year starting NFL experience, right? Yeah. And now you're going to, like, why don't you sit back? And a and a veteran like Gino, who's been around the league for a long time, so they're gonna let Gino struggle in the new system. And I don't let, think. And it, let, wait, wait. They're gonna let Gino struggle in the new system. Let Sam Howell learn the new system and then replace him. I don't think you're wrong on the struggle because everybody who gets a new coach, nobody's perfect the first year. New new he, players he, to who, new schemes. Who, who it did, always who works did out. He that hired way. for the offensive coordinator. Oh, I can't remember. Okay, man, damn. Because that would be the key. Because. I Mike, know we got. Uh, Mike is I know we got Leslie um, for Frazier. Uh, yeah, Leslie Frazier for a defense. Because Mike is defense, right? Yeah. So the defense is going to change a little bit, well, a lot. But the offense can stay the same if the offense coordinator is the same. Ryan Grubb, remember? Was he, was he there last year? No. Was it Schottenheimer? 
Who'd you have last year? OC. I don't remember. Was it Brian? Was it Brian Schottenheimer? Oh, the kid from uh from L.A. Um, for the Rams. Oh, okay. He went to he went to he went to the Jets. University of Washington offensive coordinator. Okay. Oh, that's right. That's right. He, he didn't have to go that far. <laughs> the Jets making some moves. Yeah. Taking on Baltimore linemen. Good teams always get plucked, right? That, but also here's the other thing. Let's not let's everyone blankets free agency as like my team's not doing anything and nothing's gonna happen. How many free agents? Let's be honest. How many NFL free agents come in and make a crazy immediate impact, and all of a sudden they they're the top dog. They win MVPs, awards, and they win titles and all that kind of stuff. How many actually make that happen? Not a lot. No. Right. But they make an impact. You can't have some some free agents come in and make impact. Like, Not, like Clowney make an impact. But impact, Keith Van I Hoy mean made, like, made an impact. Okay, how about this? People make a bigger deal yes. than it should be with right. free agency. No, like, you're right. First you're of all, right. it's a new scheme. You're new right. coaches to them. They have to adapt to that player. It's not everyone can just. There's a lot of talent in the NFL. Just plug and play. You can't just plug and play with a lot of guys. No, you're right. And that's and that goes all the way around. No, you're right. You're right. I would say Peyton Manning is probably one of the biggest free agency chances that make the biggest difference. Quarterbacks make a big difference. Brett Favre made a big difference when he. But that's what I'm saying. Like quarterbacks. But I'm saying like, go back ten years. So Kirk Cousins is going to make a big, huge difference. I think well, Atlanta for sure. I think Atlanta win the division. That's fair, unless Bryce Young really steps up. Over Tampa. Baker Mayfield got three years. Shout out for Baker Mayfield. 100 yeah. million, dude. Yeah, dude. Good for you, Baker. Good for him. Good for him. <laughs> Good for him. Get that State Farm money. Right. <laughs> okay, folks. Okay. Are we done? Because we're right. slowing down, I can tell. All right, you man. got other things on your mind you don't want to be here anymore. All right, man. No, I just got a busy day today. What are you doing that's so busy? Just got a lot of shit to do. I got to drive around. And Mom's in Italy now, so I got to go take out the house and start the cars. And Oh, she went back? Yeah. Hmm. So I got to go that side of town. That's just where they live at Peoria. It's Peoria Sun City ish. It's it's right there. Like like, like the address is Sun City, but the mailbox is Peoria. It's, so it's, it's not that far. Is what you're saying? No, it's twenty minutes, twenty five minutes away. That's not that far. It's far enough for me to drive. Oh my god, James. If it ain't if it ain't if it ain't ten minutes, I ain't, it's too far. What? Yeah, it's too far. Like, How long you live in Arizona? You, Forever. Like you live on a cusp of where I want to go. Everything is thirty minutes away, no matter what. Yeah, too much. I don't, I don't, You're I, out of control right now. I don't like driving. What? I don't like. I hate driving. Why? I just don't. Yeah, don't like it. Did you park your car at the airport? Nope. Got a shuttle. So then, why were you? <laughs> why did you stop texting me last night? You're like, I'm trying to get home. I'm like, well, then you're just right. Well, no, because I was in the plane and I'm trying to get everything because we had it because I was just trying to get everything together and then just go to the bag of claim. First of all, what you ain't got nothing to get together. You grab your bag and you wait to you know, get I had, out. I had. Here's the craziest shit, though. I want to hear the craziest shit because I fly a lot, as you know, and I want to hear your okay. weird excuses. So, the weather in Miami, sure, caused a three-hour delay for that plane to get to Jamaica. Yep, for us to get back on to go to Miami. I've been there before. Been right? in Dominican. It happened to me. And if we stayed on that on that flight, we would have missed our connecting flight. I've been there too. So we had to reroute uh, to Philadelphia. You went to Philly? Yes. Why do you say it like I should have known that? You didn't tell me that. I know that. Don't say. Don't do that. Like <laughs> well, I knew. Well, let me finish. So we had to go to Philly. <laughs> Damn. But that plane one hour delay. That plane to Philly was an hour delay. Oh. So geez. we had it. So they in Philly, we were we landed at like at five thirty. No, five fifty. Five fifty East Coast. Yes, and that plane was supposed to leave at six thirty East Coast. They changed it and pushed it back to seven thirty. Could we had to go to customs? So it's four thirty here. So we had to go to customs. Right. So we get there, we run around, luggage and all that stuff. If we get to the gate, you got to push back to eight. Mm-hmm. Okay, so we're sitting there. Maintenance, we, right? That's what they say. <laughs> but they had, to be, they had to wait for all I the know. people that, if they're going to Arizona. They had to wait all, all for all of them. Oh, yeah. So then we finally get on, get on that plane, and that was just you know, a long-distance flight, just four and a half hours. Just, But but none of our seats were together. Did you guys swap? No, we had well, well we had to. You had to swap at least one, one right, of you with Jackson. One person with Jackson. One of you. Right. So we had to swap. So I had Jackson this time because she had Jackson going to Philly. Mm-hmm. So I had Jackson going coming to Arizona. So it was just me and Jackson, and she was like a row behind us. So when I was texting you, you were just landing. Yes, 
I was just landing. Ten o'clock. Yeah, I know. I was just landing. But as you as you I, were supposed, you told me like I should be in my house at seven thirty. <laughs> I know. That's what you told me. Well, originally, yeah, yeah. yeah. Originally. So I was cool. I was like, oh, you know, seven thirty. Yeah, originally, yeah. You, can, you come home, you can get a couple loads of laundry exactly. done. Exactly. I've been done and already. Then you'd be all right, and then you you know go to bed at ten or Correct. whatever. Correct. Catch up on some sports. Correct. So so then yeah. So Damn. I, reroute so, to Philly. That's so tough. As, so as you were texting me, we were just landing. I just got services. I'm like, and I had, he was over here. And I had to get all this shit together. So I was just like, because yeah, kids have everything else. Exactly. Exactly. Tablets, candy, food, chips, chips, food, everything. Gatorade bottles, yeah, everything. Squishmallows, whatever. Correct, correct. So I was trying to get him going and then just I just wanted to go. So that's that's crazy, pretty, dude. Pretty. And then they said back at team one, and then twenty minutes later, back back team five. That happens every time. <sighs> so, I so my dad was just here. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. You just was, missed how, him. How was so that, my dude? dad's never been. It was great. It was it was awesome. Shout out my dad. Awesome. He was awesome to ha- have him here. Uh we had a good time. So I told him how to get through Sky Harbor. He goes, Jeez. he doesn't fly. So he was like, that was way easier than, than SeaTac could ever be. Because oh. I, I, I told him exactly what to do. I said, you're going to be in Alaska. You're Terminal 3. You're going to get off. You're going to go through a small tunnel. You're going to go left and go down the escalator, get your bags. You tell me which side of the building you, you're on, right, and south, I'll meet you south there. Of north south of north, and I'll grab you. And he was like, he texted me. He goes, you hear it? I'm like, I'm in the cell phone. Lot. I'll be there in a second. Like, it's that quick, you know? And then I even walked him, oh, taking him home. I walked him through uh, up to security and that kind of stuff. And there's nobody in Terminal 3. It's actually really simple. It was awesome. Hmm. He goes to SeaTac. He's like, I don't know where to go. <laughs> yeah. Which terminal is this? Uh, SeaTac is a nightmare. No, it awesome. really that, is. That came, though. That's awesome. Oh, he was. He loved it. Sorry I missed him, though. That's fine. You get a chance. He'll yeah. come back. Cool. He said he would. He goes, I got to come back. I go, yeah, yeah. You should live here. Yeah. Mom, too. If I don't think if his sister, my aunt, was not living there. He'd probably move here. Oh, okay. What else? I mean, I don't know. You're going to stay with my brother and his 12 kids? Right. <laughs> what up, cool. dog? All right, Is that it? Yes, sir. Are we going to do this next Saturday? Are you going to be a little bitch? Well, we'll try. I, 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 don't say we'll try. No, I got to. We can put Ryan together and we have let the producer me, on. Let me, let me see how the week goes. When we do Friday? You ain't done doing Friday night? No, yeah, I do. You have a game. No, and then I don't I have can... a game. But right. Oh, my God, James. Friday night is the anniversary of mom. Uh, Jamie's mom passing, so we. Oh, we, you, so, didn't have to, you didn't have to say that. Well, you <laughs> you could have said there's a family thing going on. I'm like, oh, <laughs> you know, you wouldn't say that. You wouldn't say. Oh, I, I would have said. Oh, no, you wouldn't. You'd be like, well, no. well, I'm not family. I'm not included. What? That's, that's what you would have said. Yeah, Don't. you didn't invite me to Jamaica. <laughs> 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 but but you did invite me to, to Disney, and I, I, I did, and, and, I, and I always will. <laughs> but no, so Friday, little this little touchy, and Thursday is the anniversary, so that's touchy. So wait, Thursday is your actual anniversary? Mm-hmm. I thought it was two months ago. Mm-hmm. Did you get that engagement ring? No, I'm just kidding. No, I was looking. The one you were looking at TikTok? I was looking. <laughs> I know. Yeah, I, know. I saw your. I see your feet. I know. I was looking. <laughs> um, I mean, I have a game plan, but not right now. Send us out, Holmes. As always, ladies and gentlemen, thank you, boys and girls, for joining us for two beers, two mics, two beers, episode two mics. 73, 74. Which one is it? I think it's seventy four. That's what I said, but you said seventy three. It might be 73. Okay, who cares? But uh, we appreciate it's you. technically each and every, like 85. All, each and every one of you. Yeah, that's, true. <laughs> that's for sure. Keep liking, keep subscribing, keep, keep watching, keep thing, talking baby. shit. Hey, to we all love subscribers, all subscribers, we love you, baby. Enjoy the March Madness. And for your boy Nate, your boy Miller. That's Miller. We out. Bye.